Right, ignore all the mess of our wheelbarrow of objects and all our stuff here. But this is our hut here. We'll get a better fit view of it. Fire pit, hot tub, little eating area. And looks out upon all these fields. Literally, we're like the only ones here. Right, entering our little. Oh, cute! I know. It's our little kitchen area. Cute little tea. Our bed. Oh, well, that's cute. Yeah. I told them we were um, having our anniversary because technically we saw Bar we didn't ever do anything. So they put up a little thing. <laughs> our log burner, our ice thing, we need to put cold things in there. And then our bathroom. It's really cute. Got a little sink, shower there. Yeah. Very cute right? Oh! <gasps> Yum! Have you seen these, Dan? Yeah. They've given us chocolate orange marshmallows. I'm so oh, lovely. Right, I think we're going to get the hot tub on now and get dinner going because we're starving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Time to relax. Yes. Got Dan cooking the burgers. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh did you get it in your eye? <laughs> Got some drinks on the go. Got the hot tub heating up now. This looks so pretty at night. The moon. It's all our mess in there. Oh. There you are. Yeah, burger feast and then a hot Hell tub. Yeah. Drinks in the hot tub. Hell yeah. Brilliant. Oh, I so can't wait. I'm so hungry. I already tried to eat the marshmallows, but <laughs> I was told I can't do that. Oh, I feel so chill right now. I've got smoke in my eye though. <laughs> That's so difficult. Oh, yeah, feeling chilled. Got my drink, waiting for my food. Oh, got the tunes on. Such good vibes. So I've had a bit of a problem. It's I'm still alive. <laughs> Dad's trying to do his best job sa saving the burger buns. <laughs> Means he has a profession at this. <laughs> no, most of them look okay. It's just this one that's still a light. <laughs> Somehow ended up with a double end burger. <laughs> I don't know how we calculated for this, but somehow I've got the two bottom bits of a burger, so I've got quite a, a beefy boy here. <laughs> <laughs> Until the following spring. Dan just said to me, how scary would it be if you're in the dark we're here with the fire and you hear this and you hear this but listen to it always showing up on time for 20 years it gets scarier are you sure definitely they're renowned for being scary hmm it's not sounding that scary you just wait you'll be silent and opinionated okay we'll see if i'm scared <laughs> I think it's going to be way too dark to be able to film us in here but the hot tub's all fired up now so I'm just going to change into my bikini and get in for a little late night hot tub um, and then we're probably going to go to bed so I'll probably check in again tomorrow when we go to Monkey World but yeah this is our setup. I've got actually a glass of Prosecco so I'm going to take that with me into the hot tub have a great chill night. Got my bikini on underneath, just gonna go put my dressing gown on so I'm all prepped and ready to get into the hot tub and I will see you again tomorrow morning. Good morning. Beautiful day. Oh, I'm gonna cook some breakfast in a minute and get ready for the day. Lovely sunny morning, got the vanilla crown, some orange juice. Someone's chilling. Get the fire going, we're gonna make some sausage sandwiches. <laughs> Bit windy, but the sun's out, so it's actually quite nice. Thank you. 
where we are, they've got a little like herb garden. So we've got like baby leaf salad, spinach, thyme, chives, which is so cute. We haven't used any yet, but might use some tonight for dinner. It's so cute. Just came over as well. It's a bit windy down here. You can see all the cows. to uh, monkey world. I left these bits out, I need to clean up as well. But I'll go do that, I'll go get ready for the day. So we're traveling obviously on the way to monkey world and me and Dan were having a conversation about evolution. So obviously the monkeys evolved. You know, we were saying how similar DNA is. And neither of us can remember why, how dinosaurs went extinct. Dan thinks it's a meteor hit the earth and the dinosaurs went extinct. I don't think it's that, I think it's something else. We're gonna Google it, but. I'm sure that's what happened. I'm sure a meteor wiped them out. And that's how they became extinct. I feel like I've heard that, but I've heard that in a cartoon and I don't know how real <laughs> that is. <laughs> yeah, chances are I've probably seen on the same thing. That's what I mean, I reckon it was from like a film I've seen before. And it said a meteor hit. Earth and the dinosaurs went extinct, but I don't actually know how they went extinct. So the I'm actually, yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna Google it while going this. So, how did dinosaurs become extinct? Geographical evidence indicates that dinosaurs became extinct at the boundary between the creek. Cre Oh man, Cretaceous <laughs> and the Pelagenes era, around 66 million years ago at the time when they, there was a worldwide environmental change resulting from the impact of a large celestial object Aha! within the earth and yes. the vast volcanic eruptions. I knew it. That's not quite a meteor hitting the earth, but it's, I would say it's as close as we can get. So fair enough then. I am correct. <laughs> Call me scientist Dan as well. Wouldn't it be paleontologists? Yeah, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> looking at me right now, this is Kim and this one is Tian, can't really see because the shadow there's Kim, Kim and Tian chilling together For lunch I've got a slush because I'm a child and a sausage roll. Dan's got a vegan sausage roll and a Pepsi Max. What are you thinking of Monkey World so far? It's great. It's good to see. A lot of the monkeys are out as well. They're not all sleeping. No. So it's um yeah it's a good day out. Yeah. 
Oh, I still can't work out how to flip this thing. Oh, <laughs> here, flipped it. Whoa, I'm well zoomed in. I was just zoomed myself in even more. Yeah, we've seen loads of the um, monkeys out today, which is good. And um, saw the squirrel monkeys, which are my favourite monkeys, the caption monkeys, and the chimps. Well, my mask is gone. Um, but yeah, I'll go around the rest of the park now. We've just done just over half now. It's got the other half to go. But it's such a sunny day, even though we're sat in the shade right now. Um, yeah, see you all later. No, it's got a packet in it, isn't it? Coming to the end of our day at Monkey World, we're just going to the gift shop now. But I had my absolute favourite monkey, who was Caesar, who was a little capuchin monkey. I've got lots of footage of him, luckily. So I'm hoping to get a fridge magnet of him in the gift shop, <laughs> so we can keep all our fridge at home. Coming home with us. So we can always look. see Caesar every day. Well, I did not want to leave him, but it's been so nice today. So chill good vibes so to the gift shop we go do some damage <laughs> They've got one of these knees and small monkeys that has really big on it. That's not quite my Caesar. Me and Dan drove past this really cute farm shop on the way back from Tesco's to our um, little shepherd's hut but how cute is it they've got like a deli fishmongers um butchery as well in here so we're hoping to get some nice burgers but yeah it's really cute uh, farm shop which is cute so we're going in now so cool got all these spices um uh, some christmas decorations out now butchers over there it's really cute Oh, got some seriously nice Texas rib barbecue rub. All these like sauces and casseroles and stuff, curry pastes. Oh, it looks so good. Just so nice, like the giraffes. Oh, yummy. I did want to show all the stuff we got from the uh, farm shop um, when we got back, but um, me and Dan have already started eating these, so. Um, Got these chuck chunk oaty biscuits and they're so good. Dan's already munching away. So yeah, and got a few bits as well, but I'll show you when we get back to the shepherd's hut. Hello Mr. Shirley, what can I get you from my tuck shop? I would please like oh what have you got in there? 
Uh, none of your business, gal. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please have... I'll have a Peroni, please. Sure, coming right up. No, you've been busy today. Yeah, yeah, a lot of customers. Oh really? Why? What's that? What's been happening? What's happened? Oh no! I hate those type of people. You got a nice setup here, though. You got the, you got the beers, the fire. Good, what's, the, what, what's that bar lady? Do you want the customer to show you? Um, All right. Let me just give you my uh, my camera. <laughs> and here you go, it's a future reference. Okay. Well, this is ah, you can't even do it! <laughs> there we go. Oh, you can okay. have your tools back. Oh, thanks. All right, anyway, <laughs> take care, thanks for the beer and uh, no problem. Good evening. Be on your way. <laughs> so I haven't put these away yet. These are the bits we got from the farm shop. So I'm going to focus, but I've got a giant strawberry meringue, which looks really yummy. Oh, well, that's just down there. Oh, I thought it was crisps. It's marshmallows. Fair enough. Got a cheese scone. 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 Just because I fancied it. And we've got some of these bad boys. Uh, homemade fresh beef burgers, which we're going to have for dinner tonight. So, yummy! That's on fire! Apparently, like the same feet and stuff. Craziness. Age 80. 100. Damn it. Ha ha. Get the, the ah. I get what? My What's this one? Oh, cute. Right, try and do this one handed. <laughs> yeah, okay, next one. Is it my go? Yeah. Um, Weight 20,000. 100,000. What the hell? Did you have? Oh, that's the one from uh, Jurassic World, the mad one. Here you go. Age 135. Haha, <laughs> 77 I lose. Damn it. <laughs> Playing dinosaur top trumps and this uh, Dimorphodon. Uh, my fossils are found in Dorset, UK, which is where we are right now. Dan, do you realise we could be in the grounds, oh it's not focus, but we could be in the grounds of this dinosaur right now. Now let's just put another log in the hot tub. Oh, so it's nice and toasty, which means I can get in while Dan cooks our burgers. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just chilling here, Dan's gonna cook our burgers in a minute.
Dan just got out of the way too hot hot tub over there. It was absolutely boiling. I think we left the logs on too long. Um, and we had dinner. We had those deli burgers. They were so good. Um, had burgers again for dinner. Classic. Um, but they were just so good and we just loved the dinner burgers yesterday and we had to get the deli burgers obviously so yeah we're having those and now we're just going to play um, a little game of cheat by the fire the card games and chill for like 30 mins before we feel like the hot tubs cool down a bit and we can get in it and then have a swim have a sing along in the hot tub for a bit and then go to bed so our last night how do you feel Dan? A bit sad to be fair. I'd like to, I'd like at least one more night. Yeah. Yeah, one more night. I think would be perfect. Yeah, because we didn't get to go on any like the walks and stuff we wanted to go on. Because by the time we came back from Monkey World, we were both just like ready to chill and have dinner and like have a few drinks and stuff. So yeah, I think I definitely would have liked to have one more night. But we were lucky to get this weekend. It was booked up until like January or something insane. So. Um, good that we got to go but yeah I'm gonna chill play some cheat go for a little swim in the hot tub and then call it a night but yeah we'll check back in in the morning I guess good night <laughs> someone regretting not bringing sliders oh it's so painful go on Good morning! Oh, a bit windy out here. Our last morning at Farmstead Glamping. Oh, don't want to go, it's been such a good weekend. Fire burning. Right now, chill before we pack up and leave. Signing off from our amazing weekend at Farmstead Glamping. Ah, don't want to go back. So it would have been so nice to have another night, but thank you to anyone who watched these videos. Um, it really means a lot, and capturing all the memories and stuff, um, and just little trips and weekend things like this. So